The organizing chairman, Mr. Ravanan, uh, members of the RISE uh, organizing committees from Chennai, as well as the delegates. Um, I am going to talk mix Tamil mix. But if I talk about Tamil fluency, I better stick to my English or else I'll end up so I see the level of fluency and, and smoothness. Probably I think it will be easier for me to wrap up the thing in, in English. Right? So the topic that is given to, to me today uh, to, to share would be the, uh, what would be the support system for the manufacturing uh, uh, for potential uh, fellow investors or that you intend to start up business in Malaysia related to manufacturing, what could be the support system? I understand yesterday there was a session by uh, Miti. Probably the what are the infra that is available via the governmental framework would have been shared yesterday. So I wouldn't want to overlap uh, with what the content that was uh, segregated yesterday. So today I will try to focus very much on business sector or the point of view left from a manufacturing. Uh, if let's say come in, what are the infra that is available and what kind of uh, support system that we could work to assist you in getting and starting up a uh, manufacturing operation in Malaysia, right? Let me just run through FMM in a brief. We are, we are known as, uh, I'm a board member of Federation Malaysian of Malaysian Manufacturers as well as the Honorary Treasurer of Malaysian Employers Federation. So, in the manufacturing scope, I'm touching very much on the manufacturing. Basically, if you see that, uh, we are the umbrella body for all Malaysian uh, manufacturing based things. We consist of both SME as well as MNC. Uh, the, the membership composition is not limited by the other side. But and we have got, uh, uh, as of now, 3,000 uh, manufacturing companies who are direct manufacturers, that we have got about 7,000 indirect uh, manufacturers that's within the system. We have got 88% ordinary members and 12% affiliate. Means affiliate means supporting infrastructure that's related to manufacturing per se. Uh, as, as the representation, we are well, uh, various government setup system, learn the number, we, our presence are there. We are sitting in 22 working, we have got 22 working committees head office at regional branch. We are seated at 50 standard committees within the government and 210 committees uh, on the various uh, economic related uh, structure. Uh, for network, we have got 10 branches uh, nationwide, including for in Sabah and Sarawak and Borneo as well. We have a secretary strength of 153. Next, uh, generally in the slide, yeah, we prepared the slide to show that the, uh, I believe there will be a lot of people here who came from different, different sectors of uh, economy and you'll be actually pursuing your own uh, different type of uh, manufacturing or economic structure. So. Uh, in terms of the structure, we have got majority of, of the uh, membership breakdown falls into a uh, chemical, fabricated, plastic, electronic, and but full range of all type of economic uh, functionality related to manufacturing is part of it. All right? Uh, then the key point, and then 73% SM is 27% large. So actually, it's an ecosystem that works together. That the 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 bigger bigger MNCs drive uh, the the broad spectrum, then SMEs provides the fundamental. And that's how the, the Federation operates. Uh, okay, right, so uh, basically uh, from a manufacturing, because when, when you operate a manufacturer, you know that you can't be at one specific area. You, you got to be in all strategic alliance and all else you won't be able to push the operation in effective manner. So, Basically, trade, investment, domestic trade, science and technology, energy, IT, custom logistics, education, human resources. Meaning, uh, once you enter into a, in a manufacturing setup, it is no more a de designated one functionality that you got to address. You got to take it in a holistic manner because as a CEO of a manufacturing, you got to manage the entire spectrum. So the Federation takes care of the functionality in each aspect, be it corporate, be it governmental, to act as a, actually a, a bridge as well as a solution point. All right, so uh, as an industry, we are now, uh, to, to be effective, I think uh, to have an effective uh, investment and also to see that the investment flow move uh, very 
smoothly towards execution and implementation in the structure one is required and then i think being being a 50 year old organization uh, probably i think if any one of you have later feels that you belongs to certain sub sectors that is very designate into a certain economic area of focus then actually we we have got the the uh, ecosystem that takes care of the various functions including trade facilitation information resource training program industry group management trade promotion and advisory services industry group management is actually an uh, okay industry group management probably will be some one area of interest that i think could be uh, this one because you see the business sort of structure effective for number connectivity is actually what that uh, differentiate in term of uh, speed as well as getting things uh, sorted out so we have got uh, even though it's under a broad structure but the operation is break into an individual uh, industry group and the individual industry groups focus very specifically to the area of economic interest including the opportunity and the policy uh, breakthrough so for example uh, oleochemical manufacturers uh, chemical industry manufacturing association automotive components if you see that once that you join into the uh, once you have the br main breach uh, association sub operation actually focus into a very specific economic group means it is not alone a kind of a caucus where you sit down and you you network but actually you really integrate running to the day to day business uh, operation uh, that means and the supply chain one will be integrated under the industry group and probably this is where actually as as an investor or as as uh, setting up business where you find the viability where you don't have to go through the entire a uh, process of getting it uh, via various ministries but you get it sorted out through the industry collaboration uh, network means to say we have there are experts who have walked through the path which you may yet to walk and you don't have to really reinvent the wheel that's how the system uh, operates and and uh, functions and basically uh, uh, i think many of extra circle but you know that actually uh, there's a gs1 uh, setup gs1 setup is a global setup if you are exporting any kind of component and you want to be part of the global set you got to have a gs1 certification uh, up in so it's a, it's a it's a label barcode label system for you to be able to export to any part of the world and in malaysia fmm is one of the uh, uh, federation that is authorized to issue the gs1 code barcode system under the ministry of international trade and industry so in in the network uh, platform is is one of the important component to use this as a base for you to re-export and move it out to the global market i just wanted to touch one point before i wrap up the presentation i think uh, okay probably i think yesterday you have got an ir 4.0 session so i don't want to re I repeat what is but what we wanted to say is that moving forward moving forward as the industry in malaysia uh, is moving for ir 4.0 and and towards more embedded technology uh, the way forward in the based on the infra that we have is actually towards more of the uh, 4.0 based manufacturing uh, scenario that means labor intensive uh, operate panna kodi manufacturing structure may not be something that's viable in this country because uh, the the resource uh, factor related to human resource is quite uh, limited but actually where that you can make the capitalization is to embark on automated technology related manufacturing where the the infrastructure locally is is very very stable and as well there's new embedded technology innovation uh, industrial assessment ready system that is part of the total uh, ecosystem for the manufacturing sector so uh, uh, a key enabler when to move forward uh, in term of manufacturing here is is actually to re reinvent them is moving forward from what it is now average getting in the industry years at a, at a range of 2.0 despite the fact that we are talking at, at 4.0s uh, agenda but we are in reality at, at about two moving forward from 2.0 upward so the great opportunity and anna you don't have to really come in with a 4.0 related uh, investment or thought but you can actually migrate the 2.0 technology that is currently existing in the manufacturing industry and move move it forward 
and then and there will be a lot of uh, functional supports, be it from funding as well from government's uh, support system to actually move it because it's, that's the direction of moving forward. And in the in the aspect of uh, of uh, economic investment, uh, would you would find that actually it will it will you'll get a lot of domestic support as well as financial uh, assistance in in to make this as viable. And that is in manufacturing la. Uh, embedded 4.0 related uh, manufacturing function is the way forward in the country. So I think with that, that note and to share that's what's that available on the topic of how could the federation or the business chambers support the, the, uh, the manufacturing expansion for the potential investors. I, I would like to end this and maybe probably if there's Q&A then we can take it on later. Thank you.